Hey, this is Kevin Bees, and I am back with tip number 30 on the life-changing business tips. And today we continue on the theme that we've had for the last few days, which is around goal setting. And so we know that there are three key elements to setting a goal that you can set and achieve. Uh, number one is what? What is it that you want? Getting really clear and specific on what you want, having it in a positive and present tense. Uh, number two is the why. We've got to know what is our emotional fuel? What is the juice that's going to keep us going when we get into this goal? Having a really clear why is going to drive us either towards what we want or, uh, or it helps us realize what we're going to be getting away from. That could, that could be your emotional juice. So today we're going to talk about the how. Once we know what we want and why we want it, how do we create a plan that's going to get us on track and moving forward towards this goal immediately? Now, the biggest way or the best way is just to start off with a brainstorm at this point. Once you realize what the goal is and why you want it, just brainstorm. Write down any idea, any way you can possibly think of accomplishing this or achieving this, of all of the things that you need to do. Once you get those down on a list in front of you, some of those things may actually include connecting with other people who've already achieved what you want. And that could maybe even give you the key or the secret recipe. But once you've got all of those things down on a list, then we need to make sure we're really clear on which ones are we gonna focus on? Where are we gonna put our time and energy into all of those different things that we've brainstormed? Now, I wanna come back to something you may be uh, familiar with or aware of, which is the Pareto Principle, the idea of the 80-20 rule. So that 20% of your activities that you do towards achieving this goal will get you 80% of the way there, will get you the biggest momentum. So when you look at the list of all of the things that you've got down there, what are the top you know, top two or three things. What are the 20% of actions that are gonna get you 80% of the way there? There's where you're gonna start. They're gonna be the, the biggest priority. Or if you think about an earlier episode, you can also ask the question, what one thing, if I did it now, would have the biggest positive impact on me accomplishing this goal? So what one thing, if I did it now, would have the biggest positive impact on me accomplishing this goal? Okay, so that would help you get really clear, either the Pareto principle or asking that question, what one thing, if I did it now? Now. Once you know what that thing is, it's all well and good knowing what it is, but we've got to get some immediate action. You should never set a goal without taking some immediate action. Get some immediate momentum, and then you feel like you're in progress and you're doing some things and, and the momentum begins to carry. So what I encourage you to do is schedule that. Get it on your calendar in some place, in some way, so that you know that there's some time allocated for it. Because once you schedule it and it's in your calendar, what I've noticed with that all of my clients have worked with over the years is that things happen. If it's in the calendar, it's more likely to happen. Now, I don't just want you to put it in the calendar. If it's a task and it may be a little bit hard or a little bit difficult because this is something new, don't just put it in the calendar and you know and use dull language. Put it in there with something that's exciting. So let me give you an example. I had a client who really wanted to publish their book. Okay, they've been working on a book for a while, and but they just they couldn't get around to writing. The writing piece wasn't really exciting them. And when we looked at their calendar and how they were scheduling it, it was like writing time, and it just seemed like a bit much, uh, bit much effort. But what was the purpose? We went back to their why. Why did they want to do this? Because well, when they wrote this book, they were going to impact tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people. They're going to help them change their life, live better quality of life. And so when we put something in the calendar that that represented that, right, runs in write book. They actually put in something, I think the um, the words were like massive contribution or uh, life changer or something of that nature that really represented what was the outcome of this. Now, that was way more exciting for them to see that in their calendar. They When they looked at their calendar and they were connected up to why they were doing it, they followed through uh, significantly more and got their book completed a lot faster. So, okay. I think that's probably everything I wanted to cover off with you today. So the three keys of, of the goal setting, what do you want? And why do you want it? Get really clear on those. And then the how. Get that how down. Get get prioritized with those, either by the 80-20 principle or asking that question, what well, one thing, if I did it now, would have my biggest positive impact on accomplishing this goal. And then get that scheduled in your calendar and stick to it by having exciting and juicy language. Okay, that's it for me. That's uh, tip number 30. Have yourself a fantastic day and I'll be back tomorrow with tip number 31. Have a great weekend.